All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a toggle mute rather than a push to talk uh, button inside of Discord. So if you go into your Discord settings and go under voice and video under voice, you can set up voice activity, which will automatically detect when you are talking into your microphone. And that can be very convenient. However, it does pick up pretty much everything you can set you saying, as you can see here by me just talking in this channel, my little icon is lit up green. That means that if anybody were to start yelling at me in my house to try to tell me something, that would all be spilling out through my microphone. So something that's kind of convenient to be able to set up, if you go back into your user settings and you go to your key bindings, which are right here underneath of app settings, you can set yourself up a new custom key binding to toggle mute. So we're going to add a new one. Uh, we're going to add a key binding and we're going to assign this to toggle mute. And then we're going to set this to be, I don't know, the period key on our, the period key on our um, number pad. So now every time I click this, it'll automatically mute myself. It's a thing it's supposed to. Is that, I, know, I guess that, that uh, the period key is delete for some reason. Anyway, so if I go back in here and I'm talking, I can then toggle mute myself. You see it now, it's actually got a little um, icon down here that looks like a covered up microphone. So now whenever I'm talking, I'm like, blah, 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 then someone can be like, oh, Larry, it's been horrible. There was a, a quadruple spaceship crash on Mars and all the aliens are exploding. And then I could be like, oh, that was cool. Anyway, back to what I was saying about cute puppies and cookies and stuff. And then that's an easy alternative to having a push to talk is the toggle mute. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to create a toggle mute button. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.